stuff it. With all this European money, mate, you think I should buy a Ferrari or a Lamborghini? A Bentley? That's something to think about. Hello? Romario Vieira, how you doing, mate? Ready for this European adventure of ours? What do you mean you want to leave? Where are you going to go? Crawley Town? And what European competition are they in this season, mate? The top of League 2. Mate, come on. Look, I'm going to be honest with you here, and you're not going to like to hear this, but for you, playing in European group stages is not going to happen very often. Look, mate, I'm sorry. I cannot let you do this to yourself. You're going to regret it. You're not leaving. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Bill and welcome to episode 28 of The Impossible Dream with Violet Town. And today we are playing Barry Town in the league and a Moldovan team whose name I cannot pronounce, Sheriff something or other, uh, in the group stage, first group stage game of the Euro 2 Cup or the European Conference or whatever it's called. But as you've just heard, Romario Vieira is upset. He wants to leave to go to Crawley Town and miss out on this European adventure. Um, you can see here if you can't read, he's upset because the asking price, uh, I asked too much to stop his move to Crawley Town. Uh, who are top of League 2, to be fair to him. But that's not European football, is it? Um, I think I asked 10 grand. I said I'd sell him for 10 grand, and he he went off on one. But there we go. Uh, now, there is another slight issue. If we look at dynamics, we've also lost uh, Muddy Moo. He's also upset because we left him out of the Euro 2 Cup squad. Um, we can only register so many players. He just, he just wasn't quite in that list. He's just come back from an injury as well, which didn't help his cause. Um, so hopefully he'll get over that, but that just kind of is what it is. Edwards and Denham are concerned. They want to start more games. I've told them we're going to start more games. They are starting more games, and they, they will be fine. So I'm not too worried about that. But I'm a little bit concerned about Vieira. Muddy Mood less so, but Vieira, who's an important first-team player for us, that we may lose some performance from him uh, just when we don't need it. But anyway, guys, let's get this show on the road. Let's start by looking back at what's happened since last episode. Uh, we'll begin with the visit of Afen Lido. Bossabru gave us a first half lead from the spot. We doubled our lead after the break through Allmark, though we needed a second attempt. And Allmark's header deflected in off a defender for our third, before Afen Lido got a late consolation from the spot. So a very, very comfortable win. Bossabru with a goal, Allmark with a goal, and an own goal as well, which I think possibly should have uh, should have gone to Allmark as well. Uh, but there we go, a comfortable win. They got a late, late consolation there, but nothing to concern us. A good solid three points. Next up, we played Bangor City. Town? City. I think it's City. We fell behind late in the first half after our defence got caught chasing the ball. But we responded well, drawing level almost immediately through James Waite. And it was Waite again after the break who put us in front with an acrobatic volley. Connor Parsons thundered in our third before McKee and Waite toyed with the Bengal defence, McKee eventually tapping home. Bengal pulled one back with a stunner, but the points were already in the bag. We were the better team in this game. Uh, we made a little bit of hard work of it for ourselves, but James Waite, absolute different class and star. Uh, of the game, 9.2, five key passes, two goals, two assists, thank you very much. Connor Parsons and Chris McKee uh, getting goals as well. Um, yeah, we, we were sort of, we were the better team, always had an element of control about it. Going behind early, well, not early, but going behind wasn't ideal, but we recovered well uh, and saw the game out relatively comfortably in the end. Next up, we went to London to play Barnett in the Iron Brew Cup, whatever round it was, first, second, maybe, maybe third. We got off to the perfect start, Liam Edwards heading in Neto's cross after two minutes. But Barnes pegged us back midway through the first half and took the lead early in the second half. They went 3-1 up on the hour mark. And despite Denham's header pulling one back, we couldn't save the tie. So the Iron Brew Cup eludes us for another season. It's so, so disappointing this game. We just, we never got going. Now, frustratingly, we could have postponed this game uh, because we had four international call-ups. I decided not to because that just meant I thought it would just, we'd have to play the fixture another time and it would just result in tied players. Um, I thought this team, this team probably should have been good enough. We got a perfect start with Liam Edwards. We got a late goal back through Oli Denham. Um... We just couldn't get done. I mean, it wasn't a bad team. Look at the names in there. Nichols, Denham, Glennon, K uh, Kelly at left back, Parsons, Jones, Watts, who's a youngster, but it should be good enough. He's a good young player. Um, yeah, Edwards, Buster, Brunetto. That, that team should, it's not that far off our strongest team anyway. 
It should have been good enough. It wasn't. And yeah, I am brewed disappointment for yet another year, which is disappointing, obviously. The final game to catch you up on was another league game, this time against Pennybont. We took an early lead when Joe Newton thumped in a first ball of goal. And goal machine Bustenbrew headed in Bakari's cross for our second. Before also adding our third just after half time with a classy finish. Rebounded very nicely, thank you very much, from the final disappointment. Joe Newton, what a nice way to get yourself underway. That was uh, first goal for the club. Bus and Brew just continues to score for fun. Um, and we were just, again, different class in this game. They didn't really stand a chance. It's almost unfair, uh, as a matter of fact. Let's have a look at the league table. We are top. We've played less games than everybody except for the New Saints. We're four points clear of them, though. Top of the table. Um... Or looking very nice. Thank you very much there. Which is what makes the Iron Brew such a disappointment. Because um, we're in a decent enough position in the league. I really think we could have maybe challenged on the Iron Brew front as well. But we've still got domestic cups to play for. And of course this one. The European uh, Cup. We're, I'm, looking, I'm really looking forward to that this episode. We're going away uh, to the... Is it away? I think we're away to the Moldovan team. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a really good test for us. Sheriff uh, Tirasol, I guess you'd pronounce that. But let's what, worry about that just yet. First up, we have Barrytown. Um, Barrytown, we can see, uh, struggling a little bit this year. Six points from their six games. Uh, let's have a look at what we're doing here. We are the favourites for this one. We're in inconsistent form, but a lot of that is sort of European games as well. And obviously, the, uh, the Iron Brew Cup there doesn't help. Uh, we've got a good record against Barry. They're coached by uh, Sean Idley. Uh, Idley, I think you pronounce that. They're a balanced, direct playing style. If we look at the analysis report, they do tend to come through the middle or down the left. We are expecting them to play this way. Uh, we can see their heat map there. Very, very narrow defensively. Hopefully, we'll be able to get down the sides of them. Passing network and key passes there as well. This is the team we're sending out. We do have, I guess, an eye, more than a half an eye on uh, on Europe. So it's a weakened team here. It's a Gray in goal. It's Newton. It's Evans, one of our young centre-backs. He's going to get the start here. Uh, you can see he's actually, for consuming a semi-pro cub, coming along very, very nicely. Uh, he's going to partner Denim at the back with Nichols on the right. Uh, Davies... Thai International, who is back from international duty and, again, developing quite nicely considering we're a semi-pro club. We've got Say, who's had a very disappointing start to the season. It, this is his time to shine, though. It's Edwards, it's Henry Jones, and it's Serafino as an inverted winger. We're experimenting there. Uh, they get sort of the, the, the three uh, in behind Damien Allmark up top. Again, not had the best start to the season, only playing a 6.83 so far. Um, but let's see what he can do against Barrytown. So we're matching up for, uh, formations, which is good. That should mean basically the best team wins and we should have the better players here, even though it is a heavily rotated team. Uh, Lewin says, tell him to pick up where they left off. Um, 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 uh, all right, let's, uh, let's keep our run going. Let's do that. Some calm, we have faith. And yeah, I'd like to see some goals here from, from Allmark. Just get himself back onto the form he had last season. Um, I mean... I, if he did what he did last season, it would be, for, for a young player, it would be quite sensational, to be honest. He's still only 17, so lots and lots of time. He's coming along nicely, so no real need for concern there, but it would be good to see him getting uh, getting himself back on track. Serafino is an inverted winger on the left. I'm interested to see how that goes. He has, he's been, he's been disappointing ever since that injury. He's had a penalty. What has happened there? The youngster, Evans, has pushed the Barrytown play up. And Louis Gray has some work to do here. Kenny saved the penalty for us. Louis Gray. Oh, Kenny, you have an excellent save from the goalkeeper. And I'm not quite sure what Newton's doing there. I'd rather you didn't play it back towards our goal in that situation. But it's a corner nonetheless. Now, what we don't want to do is having saved the penalty go and concede from the corner. And that is a decent head up. But I think we did enough there to put him off. Looking apprehensive and nervous. Let's maybe just give it an encourage, I wonder. I think maybe that team talk hasn't. We put a little bit too much expectation on them, perhaps. That's not really what we wanted. Let's try to show some passion. We need to try and turn this around a little bit. It is a backup team. I mean, still good players, which is what I like about our squad this year. Even the sort of second and even a third string team is still a good team. But that wasn't particularly good. We're looking apprehensive and nervous. I think I'm going to say... I'm going to try and take some pressure off here. Unlucky boys. 
Yeah, this has all the hallmarks so far, doesn't it? With the body language of a bit of a banana skin here for us. We'll tell players here that are looking okay and not playing well, just that. Newton, there's a lot more to come from you. That didn't particularly work, did it? Got an apprehensive Ben Davies. Got faith in you, mate. Go out there and get the job done for me. Uh, we've annoyed, two we annoyed there, Liam Edwards. That's frustrating. Henry Jones is looking nervous. Come on, mate. You are, not, well, you're not club captain, but you're very much an important player for us. You're capable. Come on, Omar. Go out there, son. And, I mean, the only person that's really covered himself in glory that half is Louis Gray, isn't it, in goal? Come on, boys. Let's try demand more. That's focus them. Can we get ourselves in front here? Danny Gosset with the corner. It's a decent ball. Back pose. Omar, I think, with a flick on. And Ollie Denham. No, it was Ollie Denham with a flick on. And Daniel Evans. He gave away the penalty, and now he has gone back. It's against his former club as well, actually. Yeah, I think we did sign him from Barrytown. Um, and he's got his first ever Barley goal. It was Denham with the flick on, and Evans with a good finish at the back post. What a perfect start to the second half, that is. And we 1-0 up. Having really, really struggled first half, let's be honest. Um, do we want to make changes? We could bring Muddy Moo on perhaps for Davies here, who's not having a particularly great game. Looking apprehensive. That's disappointing. Uh, as I said, Muddy Moo just back from injury, so we don't expect too much from him. He can play the deep line playmaker. That's fine. Um, Newton's not having the greatest game. Neither is Serafino. Come on, Serafino. We re it's really, really it's frustrating me. I don't know what to do to get the best out of him. We've seen he's a good player at this level. Mentally, he's really, really good. He's got the right attributes to be a good striker, to be a good... He could even be a, you know, a, a number 10. And there is nothing we seem to be able to do to get the best out of him. I wonder if we do... Oh, it's all, the game's almost done. But I wonder if we do try him as a, as a number 10, just see if that gets something out of him. Um, just play Jones as a winger. It's really late. I don't even know why I'm bothering. We're in stoppage time here. We should probably actually be trying to close this game down. It's not been a classic performance from us. It's We've struggled that first half, and we've just about done enough here, second half, to see it out. But there we go. A oh, would, would you call it a scrappy goal? A goal from a corner? It's not great. But I guess it's one of those, you, we have play, haven't played well, we've got the result, and we've rested players for Europe. That's a professional performance, or a semi-professional performance. <laughs> I think really, I mean, our defense has bailed us out there, haven't they? They've kept the clean sheet well, with the, with the help of the goalkeeper, and they've scored the goal. One centre-back assisting the other one. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like I say, we got the job done. That is the main thing, but it wasn't a game that will live long in the memory. Guys, wait right there. We're off to Moldova next to our, make our debut in a European group stage. Okay, welcome back, and here we go in Moldova. We are about to play Sheriff Tirasol, and we are not the favourites, which is a little bit disappointing, to be honest, but our form is much better than theirs. And if we are going to get ourselves out of this group, we have to win home and away to Sheriff. And the, 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 I think the, the general consensus in the comments last episode was, um, we can see the way that we don't have too much information on the way they play. Um, we should finish the, we should be able to beat this mob. Now this is the way we're going to play them in the first game here, mainly because I don't really know how they're going to play. Um, and this has kind of worked so far for us, although we, when we destroyed the Icelanders, we obviously weren't playing like this. But away from home, I want to be a little bit more cautious. So we're going to keep with Gray in goal. It's Kelly Lewis, who's one of the new guys that we've registered in the European squad now. Uh, he goes on the left side of a back three with Glennon Williams and Bakari as the rest of the defense. It's uh, Vieira, and it is Parsons in midfield. James Waite comes in. He's been in sensational form. Probably want to play him on support, though. He's in behind. Chris McKee, who's a goal scorer. So let's hope he scores goals and Buston Brew who just hasn't stopped scoring goals. Come on, boys. Let's do this. So we can see the way they're playing. It looks very defensive-ish, doesn't it? So, yeah, we'll kind of we'll just see how it goes. We do have the wingers on the bench, Neto and Edwards, so we can change things if we need to. Uh, Allmark is also on the bench for this one. I have loaned out if you uh, one of our youngsters, strikers, Emlyn Moore. I don't think he's going to play this year, so we've loaned him out to make sure that he um, keeps developing. There's no real pressure on us here. We're the underdogs. Let's go out there and yeah, cause an upset like that. Some calm, we have faith. And let's get out there. I should say too, I forgot this at the start of the episode. Apologies, there was no episode yesterday. Uh, apparently I'm too old to stay up at midnight and wake up before 11 o'clock. So uh, by the time I got out, it was just too late. I would have been rushing out episodes and they would have... I don't think they would have been good. I wouldn't have been proud of them. So that's why there was no episode yesterday. I apologize for that. Uh, and it was good to see in the comments, everybody else was as confused as I was about how the hell this group stage draw... <laughs> 
worked. Noah, he, he, I think he well he, he knew what he was talking about. I think he explained it relatively well. It's sort of like there's there's a pop one, uh, and then it's basically random after that. It's got <laughs> it's just I don't understand why we can't go back to the good old uh, excuse me good old uh, just there's four pots, four teams in the group. A team from each pot goes in each group. That just seems to make sense. Oh, Bus and Brew with a header just past the post there. Now, they are not offering us too much here, are they? Let's try exploit the flanks. Um, let's try that. And, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. I am wondering... Oh, come on, boys. Defend the set piece, please. Defend the set piece. It's away by Glennon. Not completely cleared, though. Still danger. Can we get there? We can. Parsons. Now, can we hit them on the break? McKee's going after it. There's just... He's got a long way to go. Can he win that? They go all the way back. Now, this is becoming a bit of a long, old, scrappy highlight. I'm wondering what is going to become of this, if I'm honest. We'll put some pressure on eventually. Here comes McKee to close down the goalkeeper. Can we win that? No, we cannot. They've gone over the top. Glennon's there. Knocks it down for Williams. Can Williams pick a pass? He can for the on-running Parsons. Now, can he finish? Go on, Connor Parsons. Connor Parsons! Decent save from the keeper. Not completely cleared yet. And unfortunately, we don't end up with a corner from that. And is the Hollick going to continue here? This is end-to-end -end stuff. We're suddenly playing basketball here, it looks like. Come on. Oh, they've got one of their midfielders through now. Can we get a block in here, please? Boys, Louis Gray with the save. And suddenly, the game looks like it's opened up a little bit. That's not been a classic. It's not been a classic episode so far, has it? Sorry about that. We'll see what we can do second half here. They were excellent. I don't know if they were excellent. Um... Let's say unlucky. We are the underdogs. I don't want to be too dismissive of them here. Romario Fierro on a booking. That just seems like a bad idea, doesn't it? Um, the strikers didn't really do much. I'm wondering if we should maybe look to exploit the middle. Because um, that's we do have some creative players through the middle. Exploiting the flanks probably isn't what we want to do. Because we only have wingbacks getting forward. Um... So that's maybe not not the smartest thing to do. I was thinking that it looks like they're sitting back against us. What I think we might do is we'll go out there, we'll attack them, we'll exploit the middle, and if that doesn't work after, say, 15 minutes or so, if it doesn't look like there's anything that's changed, what we might look to do at that point is, is bring wingers on. McKee's not had a great game. Um, and we could probably sacrifice Romario Vieira, to be honest, on that booking, because that, that does make me a little bit nervous. Here we go. Vieira, what can he do? He's playing as a deep-lying playmaker, not as a ball winner, so it should he should be sensible enough. There's a good knockdown for McKee! Oh, ho, ho, Chris McKee! Finally shows a little bit of quality. We know that he should have, because we signed him from Glasgow Rangers. And we're 1-0 up, five minutes into the second half. Let's demand a little bit more of that, please, boys. But we've come out for this second half, haven't we? Yeah, I was trying to sort of plot a, a, a possible way through the group. I think the only... We have to win home and away against these guys. Hope that Spartak and Azeg Altmar draw each other both times they play. And then we'd have to try and sneak a result against one of them somehow. Um, and maybe a draw. To, that would get us to seven points. I just... I really can't see us doing it. Maybe... We'd have to get a result against one of them somehow. Here we go. Bakari! Oh! Richard Bakari sticks it away. I think that's his first Bile of Town goal. It is his first Bile of Town goal. And the old FC Wimbledon man, the right wing back, has gone and given us a 2-0 lead. And this second half is much more like it. We should have been exploiting the middle. We've looked much, much better second half doing that. I'm assuming, I mean, it could have been that my excellent team talk as well at half time, But I'm going to say it's probably exploiting the middle that's made the difference here. Um, Buston Brew is looking at like the disappointing player right now. I'm, Vieira's making me extremely nervous. Ben Davies, on your come, mate. Um, get that done for us. I don't think we'll bring wingers on now. What I'll do is I'll save them for the league fixture if we go back to wingers. I've got to be very careful with rotating, make sure we don't tire out players. Vicari over a free kick now. Back post, it's headed away. Buston Brew's there. Is it a penalty? No. Glennon has it though. Back for James Waite. Back for Connor Parsons. He spreads a wonderful ball out there for Bakari. He's on the wrong side, though. He cuts inside on his right foot. And he's almost got himself a second there. Come on, boys. Come on. Are we about to win a group stage game? And imagine that's going to be more money in the bank as well. Parsons. Parsons! Oh! 
Connor Parsons. He scores from anywhere. That's three goals for him now this season, and it's three stunning strikes as well. He only scores great goals. Let's give them some more praise, and I tell you what, maybe we can go win this Euro 2 Cup. <laughs> Excellent. A good first touch, wasn't it? Just let the defender run past and then fence it in with his uh, left left foot, right foot. With one of his feet, anyway, he's bent it in. And I wonder now, do we actually want to maybe make a sub? Is there anybody on the bench? We do have Gosney on the bench, one of our young centre-backs. I'm wondering if we maybe want to give him a game here. Um, see how he does. McKee, back there for weight. On for Bustenbrew. Can Bustenbrew keep his goal streak going? No, he cannot. And cleared behind. I think we might do that because uh, Gosney, a young a young defender, potentially quite good. Uh, let's bring him on for. Let's bring him on for Glennon. I think. Uh, no, he's captain though. He's playing. Yeah, let's bring him on for Glennon. That's fine. Um, I may regret that. How quick is Gosney? Because Glennon was playing on the cover. He's not the quickest, but they've shown nothing getting forward, so it should be fine. Flick on. Oh, and McKee's Mr. Sitter. That's the McKee that we unfortunately. We've come to know and love of recent times. Um, Damien, I'm not going to bring you off the bench, mate, because I want to keep you fresh for the league game. Uh, but there we go. Now, are we going to keep a clean sheet? Goal difference might come into it. Um, what we want to protect ourselves against. Oh, here we go. McKee's got himself one-on-one uh, -on -one here with a defender. He's going to get past him. Is he? I think he's got the better of him. McKee! Oh, that is four. And that is emphatic. What a finish from Chris McKee. Second goal of the game, fifth of the season, and it is officially a route now in Moldova. It's a Moldovan route, the uh, lesser heard of Moldovan route. This is actually quite a performance, I'll be honest. They're not a bad, I mean, they're a team of great out players, but in real life, they're not a bad team. Uh, we've seen them in the group stage of Europa League more than once recently, but what a performance by Barla Town on the biggest stage. This game might be live on BT Sport. You never know. Probably, I wonder if it would be, actually. A, a Welsh team in the group stages of a uh, European competition. Has it ever? I'm sure it's happened at some stage before, but certainly not in recent memory. And we've only gone and won 4 0 away from home. And that second half performance, guys, um, I'm very, very happy with that. We were just luring them into a false sense of security that first half. Another 163 grand in the bank. Absolutely magnificent stuff. Chris McKee, two goals and an assist. Welcome to Barla Town, mate. It's about time you showed up. He's a good player. Um, very much a finisher. There's not too much else to his game, to be completely fair. But a good finisher nonetheless. And he just, yeah, he just had not shown up until this uh, till this point. But there we go. Good to see him eventually make an appearance. So there we go. That is it for today. The other game did end in a draw. Well, is, <laughs> is it on? Is the incredible uh, European run possibly on to continue here? We would still need, even if they did draw each other twice, we'd still need to take a point at least off one of them and then hope that maybe Tirasol could do something similar. Maybe we can do it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is there a way out of this group now? Certainly those two drawing uh, helps our cause. As I said, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back next time for, uh, I can never say this name, Carnafon. Let's go with that. And then we play at home against Spartak Moscow. That could get ugly, to be honest, but we'll see. We'll get a really good gauge, actually, of how you know we are going to go um, playing them because that's going to be a really, really tough game for us. So that's all for tomorrow, guys. Until then, everyone's on. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.